everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert from decimal to binary numbers um, and add back, so and the reverse. Uh, first of all, if you have no idea what decimal and binary numbers are, I would suggest go looking at the video. I would post a link in the description. So go look at that and you'll know what they are. So decimal is just basically base 10 and binary is base 2. So I'm just calling them, I'm going to call them B2, B actually. So first I'm going to show you how to do B2 to B10. Um, it's actually really easy because in, in B2 the only digits are 0 and 1 and in B10 there is 0 to 9. Okay, um, so let's just, I'm just going to think of a random number. So let's do 1, 0, 0, 1. One zero one zero. <laughs> I I okay. You know what? Let's take those two off. Okay, so it's one zero zero one one zero. Um, to convert this, the first thing you have to do is you have to divide it into columns. Actually, you know what? Those are ah uh, one zero zero one one zero. Okay. So I'm just going to start putting down numbers and explain what they are. So I'm just like multiplying by 2 every time. So, okay, you know, if, if you don't know what this is, just go look in the other video. But I will explain a little now. So basically what this means is it's kind of like in the normal decimal, base 10. So base 10, you would go, let's take 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the 4 is in the 1's column. 3 is in the tens column, 2 is in the hundreds column, 1 is in the thousands column. And basically each time you move to the left, you, mul you multiply by 10 because it's B10. It's B10. But this time, since it's B2, we have to multiply by 2 every time. So this is the 2s, this is the 4s, this is the 8s, this is the 16s. And this is the 30, 32s. And by the way, this is the same saying 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5. So just adding a power. And yeah, so now let's start converting. So basically, you have to do 32 times 1. So like, oh, well, just 32. So every time there's a 1, you have to get that number, so the column it's in, and just put that number down and add it. So the next one is on the 4, so plus 4. Next one is on the 2, and that's it. So you add them all together, and you get 32 plus 4 is 36, plus 2 is 38. And there you go. That It's as simple as that. And um, yeah, it, it's actually very, very simple to convert from binary to decimal. Now I'm going to show you the other way around. So B10 to B2. Okay, there is a slightly different method for this, but it is kind of easy. So it's easy to understand. So let's just get a base 10 number. And let's do, let's do the same as that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, no, no. That'll take. Let's do 1, 2, 3 actually, because it'll take too long. So 1, 2, 3. Um, what you have to do is I just like doing that and put two on the side because it's space two. Now what you have to do is you have to divide this number by two and any remainders just put over here. So there is a remainder of one and then 122 divided by two is 61. So 61 remainder one and I'm just going to put a hyphen there. So it's 61 remainder one and do the same thing again. So two. Now again you get a remainder one and 60 divided by two is 30. Let's do it again. So it's 15, remainder 0. And again. So that is 7, remainder 1. And again. Uh, that is 3, remainder 1. And again. That is. Um, so remainder 1, 1. Okay. Now, once you have this, so. So, and you can't. Well. 2 doesn't go into 1, so you can't do it anymore. Now you just have to, so I'm just going to draw this little arrow here. So you have to write down the digits in order that in order of that way. So you get 1, 
one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then a zero, and then two ones. Okay, so that is the number in, in um, what's it called, binary. So one, two, three in binary is that. And if you want, let's just convert it back. So this is equal to, uh, uh, this is, this is 2 power 0, this is 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5, 2 power 6. So 64 plus, and this one is 32, plus this one is um, 16, plus this one is 8, plus 4, no, 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 so 2, plus 1. So if you add all of those together, you get um. That equals to 127 minus 4, which, yeah, 123. Okay, so that's right. And um, so that's basically it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the like button, which is right down there, as well as the subscribe button, which is right next to it. And goodbye, see you in my next video.